While it's important to know which foods are high in nutrients, it's not enough. You also have to consider how much of what you eat is actually making it into your body. There are things about you and things inside of foods that block or enhance vitamin and mineral absorption. This video will go over how you can get the most out of the food you eat and explains how food choices and food preparation affect the availability of nutrients. Eating a nutrient-dense diet is one thing. It is another to absorb those nutrients. Take calcium, for example. Cheese and spinach are packed with calcium. This ounce of grated Parmesan cheese contains 242 milligrams of calcium. This cup of cooked spinach contains 260 milligrams. However, even though the serving of spinach has more calcium in it than the cheese, that doesn't mean the extra calcium will get inside of you. In fact, a measly 5% of the calcium from the spinach will be absorbed and used. If you're lucky, 40% of the calcium from the cheese will get absorbed and used. This measure of the amount of an ingested nutrient that becomes available for use and storage in your body is called bioavailability. Now, when I'm discussing poorly absorbed nutrients, the concern is with micronutrients like vitamins and minerals more than macronutrients. And it would be great if there was an easy to read bioavailability chart that made it clear what percentage of each food nutrient gets inside of you. Unfortunately, that cannot be a reality because there are so many variables that affect bioavailability. Factor number one is you. There are many things that are just part of your life that affect nutrient absorption. They include your age, gender, health status, body composition, and how much your body needs a certain nutrient. So people absorb nutrients at different rates. Therefore, while conventional wisdom tells us that the highest nutrient foods are the best foods, that is only the first step. We also have to ensure the nutrients are properly absorbed so they can be used and stored. To ensure this, there are two considerations, the gut microbiome and the strength of the gut lining. I wanna introduce you to Pendulum, which is the company that makes the probiotics I use and the sponsor of this video. There are hundreds of probiotics on the market and like other supplements, it can be overwhelming to try to figure out which ones are worthwhile. When it comes to supplements, my first step is to evaluate the company that makes them. Pendulum has the support of doctors and scientists that I respect. They offer probiotics that support the gut microbiome and help you metabolize sugars and carbs. And they create a technology that allows for the delivery of a keystone strain for gut health called acromancia that strengthens the gut lining. Most of us are familiar with the gut microbiome and the fact that a healthy gut full of friendly bacteria support good absorption of nutrients. Just as important to your metabolic health is the integrity of the gut lining. That lining creates a barrier that separates the contents of the gut from the bloodstream. A major factor in keeping that barrier strong is the layer of mucus coating the inner wall. That coating provides a home for beneficial bacteria called acromancia that feed off of proteins called mucin. You want that feeding to happen because when the acromancia consume mucin, your body responds by producing more of it, which replenishes and strengthens this protective layer. Low levels or a lack of acromancia in the gut is linked with a thin mucus layer, which has been associated with obesity, diabetes, inflammation, and metabolic disorders. Pendulum offers a variety of probiotics. I take a metabolic daily capsule every day with food to replenish my gut microbiome and optimize my metabolism. It is formulated with live probiotics, including acromancia, because levels of it decrease with age as a 56-year-old woman, I also take Pendulum's Acromancia Probiotic Daily to boost the integrity of my gut lining. You can take them as I do or separately or explore the other high-quality probiotics by Pendulum by visiting pendulumlife.com forward slash Dr. Becky. And if you use the code Dr. Becky at checkout, you will get 20% off your first month of any membership order. I'll leave the link in the description area for you. Nutrient bioavailability not only differs between individuals, it also varies among foods. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that calcium from spinach is much less bioavailable than calcium from cheese. This is due to anti-nutrients found in spinach called oxalates. Oxalates are just one form of anti-nutrient. The mechanism by which they affect nutrient absorption varies, but in general, they bind to nutrients, preventing their absorption through the intestine. 
Oxalates are high in spinach, almonds, beans, and potatoes. As you may have guessed, they bind to calcium and block it from being absorbed. If you're prone to kidney stones, your doctor may have told you to avoid oxalates because they can form crystals as they pass through the kidneys on their way out of the body. Lectins are another type of anti-nutrient. They are high in whole grains as well as legumes like beans, peanuts, and soybeans. They also interfere with the absorption of calcium and with the absorption of minerals like iron, phosphorus, and zinc. Phytic acid or phytates are the other anti-nutrient that get attention. This type is found in grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and binds to minerals, blocking their absorption. Now, one thing that may have jumped out at you as I went through foods that contain oxalates, lectins, phytates, and other anti-nutrients is that they are common in plant foods. You may think that feels like a mistake of mother nature to put anti-nutrients in plants. However, these compounds are there so the plant can defend itself against threats like fungi, bacteria, and insects. Because of these anti-nutrients, we tend to absorb nutrients better from animal foods than plant foods. But I don't want the takeaway to be that plant foods should be avoided. Anti-nutrients is a scary sounding term, but I don't want you to leave this video feeling scared to eat. Leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and so on contain many nutrients that your body will absorb and use. Would I recommend an all spinach all day long diet? No, it is best to avoid eating large amounts of the foods I mentioned in a single sitting, whether you are prone to a disorder or not. But when eaten in smaller amounts, a healthy individual will gain more health benefits than consequences and the preparation of these plant foods can affect bioavailability. This narrative review published in 2020 outlines preparation tips for reducing anti-nutrients. For example, oxalates dissolve in water, so you can reduce the oxalates in foods like almonds, beans, and spinach by soaking them or boiling them in water. Lectins and phytates can also be reduced in these ways. Still, when it comes to bioavailability, animal foods outperform plant foods. For example, heme iron from animal-based foods is better absorbed than non-heme iron from plants. And some nutrients obtained from animal sources enhance the absorption of other nutrients. For example, salmon and eggs are rich in vitamin D and contain fat that helps your body absorb calcium and fat-soluble vitamins. And there are complementary nutrients in many plant foods. For instance, vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-heme iron and we get vitamin C from various fruits and vegetables. The takeaway is this. There are compounds in foods that block the absorption of certain nutrients. There are also compounds that enhance the absorption of nutrients. The lists are long and complicated, but they shouldn't make you feel fearful of eating. Taking in a variety of whole foods and optimizing your gut health are the best ways to ensure that you are absorbing and using the nutrients. If you'd like to optimize your gut health with Pendulum's Acromancia, Metabolic Daily, or other probiotics, visit pendulumlife.com forward slash Dr. Becky and use the code Dr. Becky at checkout to get 20% off the first month of any membership order. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button before you go. Have a great rest of your day.